What is up, bros and brats? I'm Ink Slasher, and today there is a lot of Call of Duty news, especially with the new Blackout mode for Black Ops 4, so that's the main thing that we're going to be talking about today. But some other things that are going on in the community is, first of all, there's a new event in Call of Duty World War II. We're really not going to talk much about that because really the only thing that they added were two new weapons that we've already talked about on the channel. But the big thing we're talking about today is Blackout, and basically what's been going on throughout the day is, first of all, Game Informer has announced that over the next week they are going to be releasing gameplay, images, and various other things revolving around the Blackout beta starting on the 10th. But the thing is, is today they also released a video where they interviewed David Vondhar, who's the lead on Blackout, and he got asked a ton of questions and answered so much. So I'm going to include a bunch of clips in this video about that interview, but more importantly, we're going to discuss everything we know thus far about the Blackout mode, including the player count, the fact that zombies are in there for sure. Um, different things including custom games and blackout so this is definitely going to be a bit long of a video but we're just going to cover as much as we possibly can about blackout starting with the twitter announcements that came today so first things first prestigious key hollow point and og x-rays three call of duty youtubers i've met all three of them all got messages from activision today with pictures of the blackout map they're little square sections of the map that where you get to see a little bit of what we're looking at here so one of them shows the coast of the island and the other two are kind of middle of the island it looks like now i personally couldn't pick out any call of duty maps from previous black ops games in these images but if you see any that you recognize feel free to let me know down in the comments but so far these are the three images we have so far of the map now as of right now we don't know when we're going to be getting more of these images if it's going to be every day at noon if it's going to be every couple hours i'm not sure for those of you asking i haven't received anything from activision at this point Maybe I will in the future, but as of this point, I really have no idea when we're going to be getting more images. Now, the next thing we're going to look at here is the Game Informer interview talking to David Vondahar, and he gets asked 195 questions. I'm not going to include this entire interview. I'm just going to cover some of the highlight points and include some of the video. I can't include the whole thing because it would be copyright, but we'll talk about a few of the points for sure. So the first thing is, is that Blackout is going to be 80 players in a lobby at the beta but they said it's expandable up to 115 players so whether we're going to get 115 players at launch 100 i think they're going to test what amount feels right starting with 80 at the beginning of the beta could this change throughout the beta possibly could it change at release of the game absolutely here's what david vondahar said about it though what's the player count for blackout 80 at the beta, go from there. But really, what do the numbers mean? What are the numbers, Mason? Why stop at 80? Why not? 115. Is it going to be 115? With any luck. Is it scalable just in case you need to tweak it after the beta? Yeah. So a lot of information there about the player count, but as I said, it looks like it's going to start at 80 and then they can scale it all the way up to 115 if need be. Now, after this, he then asks if there's going to be custom games, and his answer is very confusing. Will Blackout have custom games? Not as you think about them. My guess to what he means by this is you won't be able to have a full lobby of 80 people in a custom game, but you will be able to go in as a single person and explore the map. That is my guess, but really I'm unsure at this point. Now, the next thing that he goes into is talking about whether or not Blackout is a big simulation like the Black Ops 3 multiplayer was, and he actually answers a bunch of questions about this. So here's what he says. Blackout all a big simulation? No, definitely not. Not a simulation? <laughs> no. Why do you hate the word simulation? Ah! So Blackout takes place in California? Maybe Northern California. Does the Blackout map have a name? No. Long story. Will it ever have one? Maybe never. Why? Maybe it's already in the map. Is it? Find it. I absolutely love almost every single one of those responses by David Vondahard, simply because I think that there's going to be a ton of Easter eggs riddled throughout the Blackout map, and I can't wait to actually get in there and have a look for them. And that's just a first tease of what he says about even an Easter egg at all being included in the map. So I, I really like that. Now, a couple other points that he touches on that I'm not going to show you is, first of all, he said that there's going to be a lot of characters added added in to Blackout after the launch. I'm assuming this is going to be the various skins and stuff like that that they are going to be adding into the game. These are the things that you're probably going to have to spend money to actually get, but maybe they'll be unlocked via challenges. At this point, we're really unsure. The other thing he's asked is if there will be non-Treyarch characters added, like characters from Modern Warfare series, from Advanced Warfare, things like that. And he says it's possible, but unlikely. But at this point, they're really unsure. I think it will really depend on how successful the Blackout mode is as a whole. And then this next point I think is something really 
positive that we can take away from the interview. It revolves around them not just being money hungry about skins and stuff like that in Blackout. And here's what it is. Do you guys ever lock exclusive characters under like limited time events for Blackout? No, but I want to use limited time events to give you the ability to get the character. So basically, there's going to be certain characters that are available during events, whether that be a Halloween event, Christmas event, or something like that. And there'll be a set of challenges that you can complete to actually retrieve that character. But if you miss that event, then you might have to spend money to actually get that character, which is, I think, a pretty fair system. It could be a little bit more fair, but all in all, a pretty decent system, at least, that you don't aren't forced to spend money on them. Now, after this, this is when we start to get into the different gameplay discussions about the game, starting off with body armor. Will I be picking up armor on the map in Blackout? Yeah multiple types of armor. Now what I would assume he means by that is if you've played the heist mode in the original beta, they had three different types of armor, light, medium, or heavy. Light gives you 50 extra health, um, medium gives you 100, and then heavy gives you 200 extra health. I'm assuming it's something along those lines involved in the blackout mode. Um, so I'm guessing, like he said, just various types of armor spread throughout the map. Now the other thing that he discusses when it comes to this is whether there's going to be different rarities of loot. Kind of like in Fortnite, how there's green, blue, um, purple, and then gold items. And he says, no, that there is not. There will just be different items. So different weapons, not different rarity of weapon. Two other things that I think we all assumed were going to be involved in the game is that first of all, there's like a backpack system where you can carry around a set amount of items. You can trade them with your teammates. And then when you die, they call it the death stash where you can pick up enemies items or your teammates items when they eventually die. But I think we all kind of assumed that was going to be in the game anyway. Then they get talking about zombies being in blackout mode. And yes, zombies are in blackout mode. Let's listen to what he has to say about it. So the zombies in blackout, they spawn randomly? They spawn at one of the many zombie destinations. Look for the ray of light. Can the circle ever close in in the finale, like on a pack of zombies? Absolutely. Is that just chaos? No. So a lot to take out of that. Basically, throughout the map, there's going to be several different zombies destinations. In other words, zombie maps that have been in previous Call of Duty games. And in these locations, zombies will spawn in. And when you kill them, you can actually get loot for them. But of course, when you kill them, you're going to make noise and kind of reveal yourself to your enemies. Now, when he says look for the ray of light, what I'm assuming by this is there may actually be mystery boxes that that you can go and get loot from and these will be revealed by light simply like they are in zombies maps in Treyarch zombies games which I think is a really cool addition to the blackout mode then another little weird bit of information is the fact that you're only able to carry two primary weapons at a time. So I'm guessing two primary weapons, two secondary weapons, but it's still a little bit odd. And I think this may be one of the decisions that made shotguns be considered secondary weapons in Black Ops multiplayer. Because then you can have almost an AR and a sniper as your primary weapons, and then a shotgun and a pistol as your secondary weapons. I'm guessing that was part of the decision, but we'll have to wait and see how that plays in the blackout mode. Another interesting question they asked is, could Blackout Mode ever be sold alone? Do you think Blackout will ever be sold standalone? Man, be interesting, wouldn't it? Do you think it could work? I, I had nothing to do with the business, guys. I make video games. I'm sure a lot of people aren't going to like that answer, but it's very true. Really, Treyarch doesn't have much to do with how the game is actually sold. That's Activision. They wouldn't know much before we would as far as if it was going to be sold standalone. So I'm guessing, depending how popular Blackout is, whether people like it that much, if people really do, I'm guessing it will go standalone. Simply because Activision is in the business of making money, and if it's going to sell alone, why not release? Really? it like that. Again, they discuss characters a little more, and they state that there is Blackout-specific characters, which is going to be very interesting. I don't know how they're going to make that work in there. Um, the other thing is, is that they also say that you can get something like Ruin's Grappling Hook. But, once again, it's not just Ruin that can get it. It is everyone. It's just a matter of finding it as a piece of loot. So I'm guessing other specialist abilities, maybe the Flamethrower as the Purifier, will be in there as well. But, once again, it's loot, so that's how you have to find it. Then they get into a little bit more map discussion where they talk about where the busiest areas of the map are going to be and Vondahar guesses that firing range will be the busiest area and then they also get into talking about Nuketown as well. One other thing that they press a lot in this interview is what type of skins that you're going to be able to use, what, that you're going to be able to get, that they're going to be adding into the game and to me whenever they ask these questions it does really sound super up in the air. One of the questions they ask is are you going to be able to play as the zombies and Vondahar's response is simply a lot of people want to so 
once again, I'm guessing if Blackout is popular, if a lot of people like it and a lot of people are playing it, they will add these things. If it's going to make money, they'll add it into the game. So I think a lot of these things are really strong possibilities. And I really strongly suggest, if you haven't already checked it out, there's going to be a link down below to this full interview. And Vondahar answers a ton of questions. But speaking of characters, he does say that in the beta, there is going to be 22 characters available. And at release of the game, there will also be 22 characters available. And then they'll be adding more in throughout the life cycle. But the beta will have the same characters as will be in the game at launch. So aside from that, the only other thing I wanted to talk about was the different vehicles. The first two are the land vehicles, so you have a cargo truck. It holds one driver and four passengers. I'm not really sure what the point of four passengers are if you can already only play in quads, which is a group of four. But there's also another vehicle that's like that too, but we'll talk about that in a second. Another thing that Vondahar mentioned with the cargo truck is that you can actually keep gear in it. So if you have more weapons than you can hold, you can actually put them into the cargo truck truck and you can carry 10 pieces of equipment on that cargo truck which i found pretty interesting now the second land vehicle is just an atv you can have one driver and one passenger on that the next is the sea vehicle the zodiac inflatable boat this one can once again hold one pilot and one passenger and then finally we have the air vehicle the little bird helicopter once again this one can carry one pilot and four passengers again not sure the point of the four passengers, but that's what you can do. So not a ton of vehicles, but I think just enough to get you around the map. Now, the final point I would like to make in this video is if you haven't watched the full interview, I very strongly recommend going, checking it out. You can really learn a lot about Blackout from it. But the big takeaway that I got from this is when I first heard about Blackout, I worried that it was almost a bit more of a second thought to Treyarch. It wasn't what they were putting their effort into, and it was just going to be a sloppy second game mode. However, after this interview, I really feel like this blackout mode is the baby of the Treyarch studio. Even Vondahar goes as far as to saying, it's all he thinks about, it's all he does, it's his baby. He says those words. And I think that really means a lot to me, and I think that really means a lot for the blackout mode. I think this is going to be something that really is set for the record books as to what this is, and I'm really excited about it now. But like I said, check out that full interview. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And as always, if you want to stay up to date on all my Black Ops 4 content and all of the news revolving around blackout and Black Ops 4, the best way to do so is hit that subscribe button and make sure you have notifications turned on. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching it and until next time guys peace out we are we are reaching for the stars but we're making this too hard and i want